Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, I think about a lot of things all the time. I know. Always thinking. Like, I wonder who'll be president in 2020. Mm -hmm. okay. I wonder, will we ever have a female president? Okay. Things in the world that make a difference. Things that matter. Things like, what happens when you flush a toilet at 35,000 feet? I don't know. And now, for something completely different. Hey, Ronnie, have you ever flown first class? No, I never have. Me neither. Unless you've flown first class, or in a private jet. Not done that either. Aircraft lose, Lou being an English term Bathrooms. for toilet. Yeah. Just call me Toilet Gallagher. <laughs> are windowless, cramped affairs that usually reek of cheap sanitizer, but they have come a long way and rarely get the recognition that airplane toilets deserve. Yep. Uh, the very first flight made by Orville Wright. Remember uh, you were there? Yes, I mm -hmm. saw the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It was pretty amazing. I posted on Facebook. I remember, yeah. <laughs> uh, although some conspiracy theorists think otherwise that Orville wasn't the first one. I love his popcorn, by the way. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, it, it lasted just 12 seconds, hardly long enough to get worked up for bladder perspective. So I, I suppose that sounds he, familiar to he you. He wasn't over 50, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Although one may surmise that a number two might have been on his mind. Well, if you're up there 12 seconds, I don't know if you got time to think about pooping. Yeah. But before long, planes were flying for much longer. It's obvious that someone, somewhere was the first person to, pardon me, but relieve themselves in an aircraft. Perhaps it was out the window. Uh, who was this urinary pioneer? <laughs> History, unfortunately, has not recorded it, laments no. the website. Yep. Uh, some interesting facts have, however, been recorded. Second World War pilots, for example, couldn't stand the slop bucket or Elson's found on board Lancaster bombers. They often overflowed in turbulent conditions and were tricky to use. One identified airman described his hatred for the contraptions by saying, while we were flying in rough air, this devil's convenience often shared its contents with the floor of the aircraft. Disgusting. The walls, the ceiling, and sometimes a bit remained in the container itself. Well, that's always pleasant. Uh, it doesn't take much imagination to picture what it's like trying to combat fear and air sickness while struggling to remove enough gear and cramped quarters at the same time trying to use the, the bathroom. Uh, the loathsome creation invariably overflowed on long trips and in turbulence was always prone to bathe the nether regions of the user. That's so disgusting. Yeah, it was one of the true remainders, reminders to me that war is hell. Yes, war is hell. And airmen sometimes preferred to urinate or... How did I get this paragraph? <laughs> Thank you. Defecate <laughs> into containers before simply hurling their business out a window. <laughs> Some reputedly jettisoned full Elson toilets on German targets along with their bombs. <laughs> An early example of biological warfare. Oh, man, that is. Poop bombs. <laughs> That's what you need, Mr. Trump. Incoming. Uh, James Kepner's modern vacuum toilet wasn't perfected until the 70s, with the first one installed by Boeing in 1982. Thank God. Before that, the plane bathrooms were unwieldy boxes that utilized large quantities of blue liquid known as SkyCam and were prone to leaking. Ew. <laughs> Uh, so next time you're queuing to use the facilities at 35,000 feet, count yourself lucky. You could have looked like a Smurf. <laughs> a frozen Smurf. Yes. Yep. Kemper's nifty device uses a little liquid, but relies on non-stick coating and vacuum suction to wash away the nastiness. And uh, I'll tell you what. Let's do this, Ronnie. Let me... Let me show you a little airplane bathroom trick. Please, don't try this on an airplane. No. Oh, 
Okay, Ron. All right. The go. person in that video is stupid, <laughs> immature, inconsiderate, and kind of has no life. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. That's from one YouTube user beneath the clip. I am definitely doing this on my next flight, says another. Since then, there have not been really any dramatic advances in aircraft toilet technology. If it ain't broke, you know. The only noteworthy item is that toilets on Boeing's 787 Dreamliners have automatically closing lids. That's probably good. <laughs> oh, and some toilets are getting smaller to really cram in those paying customers. That oh, toilet, you know nice. what? I don't have a big ass, but my toilet, my my ass is not going to fit on one of those bathroom toilets. No, trust me. No. I don't know who's what. All right, so here's the burning question, though. What happens to all the waste? Yeah, that's what I wanted to get from to. A, from a toilet. Okay, tell me. Uh, is it just je jettisoned into the sky to avoid all those flyers? It still has to Make a go. point of holding it in until the plane reaches European soil. Prepare to be sorely disappointed. There is no way to jettison the contents of the lavatories during a flight, explains Patrick Smith, a pilot and author. Uh, at the end of a flight, the blue liquid along <laughs> with your contributions to it, are vacuumed into a tank on the back of a truck. Man, I want that job. Dang. The truck driver's job is even lousier than the co-pilot's, but it pays better. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, That's there's plus. money in poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the driver then wheels around to the back of the airport and offloads the waste in a ditch behind the parking lot. I don't think... I don't think they do that here in America. I, uh, they better not get caught, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, so there is one caveat, however. It's impossible to empty passengers' waste from an aircraft intentionally, but not by mistake. A man in glorious tax-free California <laughs> once won a lawsuit after pieces of blue ice fell from a plane and came crashing through the skylight of his sailboat. Oh, damn. Boy, you know you're having a bad day when that happens. Yeah. Uh, a leak extending from a toilet's exterior nozzle fitting caused runoff to freeze, of course, at that elevation, yep. uh, build, and then drop like a neon ice bomb. <laughs> if you think that's bad... A 727 once suffered an engine separation after ingesting, oh my gosh, after ingesting a frozen chunk of its own leaked toilet waste. Oh no. Inspires, inspiring the line when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> uh, literally, that's what happened. Yes. Yep. Oh my gosh, Ronnie. Oh, uh, that's awful. Well, it, you know what? I always did wonder. I thought they probably just dumped it when they flew over an ocean. Or say Rio Linda, or <laughs> some, some other place. <laughs> Sorry, Rio Linda. Those of you around the country are familiar with the, the city called Rio Linda, and we've mentioned it a few times. Rush Limbaugh has done it as well. I live very close to there. If I threw a rock, I could be in Rio Linda. Uh, I honestly thought that every time you flushed, it just went out the bottom of the plane. I did too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I didn't know there was a storage. Now we're more informed. Yeah. As are you. <sighs> What? How big a tank of poop and pee is that have to be on an airplane? Well, you, what do you well, think how about many it? people are on a, on a plane? Like a seven, uh, seven, oh, man. forty-seven, seven hundred, three hundred, or three hundred? Yeah, three maybe. I don't know. Mm. Uh, but you think about it: a typical outhouse services how many people in a weekend, and they typically go a whole weekend without. Emptying. You mean like a porta potty? Porta potty. Yeah. 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 And uh, all they do on those is they just stick a freaking hose down that thing and suck and it, huh? suck it on out, and suck back, ick back, <laughs> replace <laughs> replace some of the fluid, and off they go. Yeah, and in fact, I've seen the guys that clean the porta potties out uh, at my workplace, and they they take a hose afterwards, and they spray down the whole inside of the porta potty. They don't wipe it clean. They spray down and then close the door and they're off. They're off to the next one. Yeah, the air will dry and disinfect yeah, it, right? Apparently it does. Yeah, yeah, the water kills the germs. There's, there's probably a lot of alcohol in there to, uh, to that'll dry quickly. But yeah, that's... You know... I don't know what that job pays, but... I'm just wondering it what it's like enough. at school for the kids on career day. 
<laughs> what does your dad do, Tommy? My dad's a doctor. Hey, Jimmy, what does your dad do? My dad's a police officer. Hey, Stevie, what does your dad do? My dad sucks crap out of a toilet every day. And he makes as much as the police officer. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. We hope you've learned something about pooping in airplanes. We did. Well, you know, that's why we're here. We're givers. Yeah. We bring this information and do this study and research so that you don't have to. Right. We do the work for you. And you know what else, too? We get the sarcasm at a good price, and we pass the savings on to you. <laughs> that's how it works on Men Are So Smart. If you have any comments... If you'd like to leave any crappy messages below, please do. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. See what happens. See yeah. what that'll get you. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll find all the information on Ronnie and I below in the, uh, the, 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 the stuff. section there. The stuff. You know. Yeah. Uh, okay. If you haven't already done so and you had a good time and some laughs with us today, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell. That'll get you notifications each time a new show comes out. Right. All right. Yeah. I'm down. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And this has been a crappy episode of... Men are so smart. <laughs> <laughs>